good, AK gang. It's your boy Angelo Kimbro, and I'm back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be talking to y'all about growing up in a single family household or um I really can't speak on a single family or like a mom or a dad taking care of their child by themselves but I can't speak on your parents being separated um and you having to deal with that as a child if you guys enjoy this video smash the like button comment down below what the videos you guys would like to see also smash the subscribe button I'm on the road to 150 subscribers and let's get straight to the video I'm recording this at 8 a.m. so if I seem tired then because I was I woke up at like 6 and I ain't been back to sleep but um, growing up with my mom not being with my dad I mean like for me it wasn't that bad you know like she was she was my mom was she was in a relationship when I was younger like they were together for like I think like 10 years or something like that so right around the time I was born is when they got together um, so it was really like well hold on because I think I can look <laughs> this my mama if y'all didn't know but I'm gonna look at when her and her man, her boyfriend got together. Um, and her life partner of nine years. And this is in 2011. So they got together in 2002. So, so my mom and her boyfriend, according to her obituary, got together. Because it says they were together for nine years. She passed away in 2011, so that means that they were together in either in late 2001 or they got together in 02. Um, and I was, so that means that I was literally just born, not too long, bef not too long um, before that. So. But when I was growing up, it was me, my sister, my brother, my mom, and um, and my mom's boyfriend. Now, my dad was there when I was a baby. Um, and <laughs> obviously... I'm, I'm straight, right? I'm doing good. I'm healthy, everything, you know. Um, but when I was growing up, like four, I guess you could say like four, five, six, seven, all the way up until my mom passed away in 2011. Like, we were cool, you know, like, my, I used to, my dad used to pick me and my brother up every, it was either Friday or Saturday, and then we used to go to his house, um, spend that Saturday with him, and get up, go to church Sunday, he cut, I think he cut our hair Saturday night, or that day that we got there. And sometimes it was, I think, after church, he used to cut our hair and then take us back home Sunday because we had school the next day. Um, but 
but yeah, growing I mean growing up for me I can I don't know how I'm pretty sure they probably they well I don't know about my sister, but I'm pretty sure my brother feels the same way. Um like we were cool, you know, like we played <laughs> Like, where the video game that we had came from, who I'm living with now, my aunt and stuff, or whatever. But before then, like, we, I used to, if y'all remember my last, my, the video that I was talking about my mama, like, we used to cook, we used to watch, <laughs> we used to watch the cooking channel, <laughs> like, like, like my, so I wouldn't say like my experience was of living with like living, um, I guess you could say living in a household without my dad. Like, I was, it's not like I was because I was still talking to him, like I said, like he used to pick us up every weekend, you know, so it's not like I wouldn't see him. Um, so I was, we were, we were straight, you know, I was, um, going to school, hold on, I don't know why I'm talking about going to school, <laughs> that's not, but, yeah, like, Growing up without my parents in the same house really wasn't that bad for me. Like, I was still having fun. I was outside playing football. Outside in our backyard, um, jumping on the trampoline. I used to play, like, we used to play, I think when we were in our backyard, if I'm not mistaken, I think I used to play, like, tackle football, and mind y'all, I'm playing tackle football, and I could get injured at any moment, anybody can, but I'm just speaking on me because of me having cerebral palsy, like, thank you, I'm thankful that nothing happened. You know, but I'm pretty sure we was playing tackle football. And then I think we um, switched it to two-hand touch just, just so that I would be safe. And nothing would happen to me. But yeah, like I was outside running with my brother. Me and my dad used to have races. Um, <laughs> like, I was one of them as a kid, man. As a so, as the, <laughs> as my elders would say, or some people would say, as a young bull, I was chilling. <laughs> I was chilling. Like I said, like, going to school was cool. My grandma recently asked me a question. Um, she was like, Cause we was watching, or sh not we, but she was watching. I think it was Tamron Hall or something. And um, there was a kid on there who has cerebral palsy, just like me. But like, I can do. That's the thing about me. Like I'm so thankful and blessed because I not blessed because that means be less and you're not let I'm so blessed and thankful that the cerebral palsy didn't turn out didn't affect me how it affects other people like I said I can still walk, I can still talk, I can get in the shower on my own, um, 
I can make myself something to eat, depending on what it is, you know. Now, cooking wise, <laughs> cooking wise, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to. I'm not going to say I can't do it. I'm going to just have to get used to it, you know, because it's like, because I, like, standing up for me is, it's not hard, but standing up for a long time without having to sit down is difficult. So that's the only problem with having to cook something. Um, Like, actually cook something is having to stand there unless I get a walker like like the one my grandma has that has a seat on it and I do it that way but um yeah man but like growing up growing up without not really without my father but growing up without him living with us really wasn't bad like I really can't complain like I was I didn't even have to do all of that bro the pictures on the back like what Angela what are you doing This picture right here that's from left to right right yeah from left to right hold on from left to right I'm trying to get my brother Romero so he's not blurry I don't know if it's Anyway, from left to right, y'all see, y'all see my beautiful mama. Uh huh. <laughs> Let me stop. No, but from left to right, it's Mark, me, my mama, and my brother. Like, it was literally just us, and then my sister. I don't know if she was there. I think she probably. I uh, yeah. I don't know if she was there. Um. But it was like, I really can't complain, you know, like, like I said, I was having fun at the age of like seven up until that day that she passed away, or I would say, well, I would say my early childhood. I was having fun, you know, like, when I was able to officially, like, go outside, and, and it's crazy, man, because, think about it, you know, obviously, from an infant to a baby, or, like, what I mean by a baby is how, like, you could get up, walk, do all of that. And then me being, I would say, like, maybe five and on. Because maybe four and on. Because this picture was when I was four years old. Or three. Because this is from... April of 04, so I was three years old in this picture. So, like three up until now, I should say. I mean, well, no, three up until, yeah, three up until my mom passed away. Because, again, like, <clears throat> um, 
because again, it's, it's they were together for ten years. So I would say, when I was, let me put it this way, when I'm when I was able to walk and go outside and and play with and like jump on our, I don't know how long we had a trampoline for, but when I was able to go outside and jump on our trampoline, when I was able to go outside in our front yard and or our backyard and throw the football around. Um, or be outside and hanging out with my brother and his friend, um, Andrew, and all of that. Like, from that time up until December 3rd, 2011, like, I was, we were straight. No, like, like I said, we living without my living in a house without my biological father was not bad for me. Um, I was still enjoying my life. I was still having fun. Like, I just was telling y'all, like, I was outside throwing the football. I was outside jumping on our trampoline. I was cooking with my mama. I was watching the cooking channel with my mama. I was watching football with Mark, watching basketball with Mark, playing the game with my brother. Um, watching wrestling every <laughs> raw um, I think it was was it just Smackdown or was it both I think it was I, it was probably both um, and I started watching wrestling around like I think 2007 so after the Attitude Era and all that stuff because of course I was born in 01 so I wasn't you know but like yeah, like, I was having fun, you know, like, me living without, me, I don't want to say leave, living without my, but me living without my dad in the same house, or growing up with my dad in the same house, like I said, he was there when I was a baby baby, when I was first born, but, like I said, when I was like maybe two, three, um, up until I, up until my tenth birthday, I was fine. We were fine. I didn't really have a problem, you know. Um, but I don't want to make this video too, too long. It's already eighteen minutes. Um. But if you're living, I would say this to y'all, right? If you're living in a house without both parents, please just make the best of it. You know, whether that even if you aren't talking to your mother or father, whichever one it may be, whether living with your mother, living with your father and you're and they're separated. Yeah, whether you're living with your father or you're living with your mother, just make the best of it, man, because that's what I did. I made the best out of the situation. Like I said, I was still having fun. I was still seeing my father every weekend. So it wasn't bad for me. But please, if you are going through the same thing that I went through, just please make, the, make it better for yourself because it's your life and you don't want to make it bad on yourself just because your parents aren't together anymore so just make it the best experience you can um and that's the end of this video again if you liked it smash the like button comment down below what you guys thought of this video and smash the, the subscribe button i'm on the road to 150 subscribers 
So help me get there. I'll see you on the next video. And I'm out. Peace.